Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming, and today is April 6, 2023. And the reason I mentioned the day, which I never do in my videos, is because today is my birthday. I have leveled up, and it got me thinking today about what other birthday is coming up. Eh, about a little over a month, and that's the birthday of Evil Dead the game. Evil Dead the game turns one on May 13th. And yes, I can't help but think about what all could be in store for year two. Now, I know you're gonna say, Old Head, April 26, 20 days from now, we have a new update, which is gonna bring some pretty cool things, like Steam is coming to the game. You can play the game on Steam. That's gonna open up a whole new PC community. You're gonna have the addition of Brock as a new survivor, and of course, the very, very requested ball as a new demon. And demon mains have to be super excited because it'll be the first demon in eight months since Plaguebringer was dropped during the 2013 update. Another thing that got me thinking is over the last week and a half, for some reason, one of the first videos I ever did has been getting a lot of views again. And it got me to think about what could be happening in year two. Now, if you haven't seen the video, it's on Jason Voorhees and why he was gonna come to the Evil Dead the game. It's right here, you can just click on it. Now, I will say the level of quality versus 14 months ago versus now since I've been covering Evil Dead is a little bit different. The quality is probably considered the worst. I mean, Jean Ralphio kind of nailed it. It's the worst. The video quality is shit. And I've grown a lot as a content creator thanks to you awesome people for the most part. We make much better Evil Dead videos now. And I wanted to think, what could be coming in year two? But let's be honest, we're down to the last handful of really requested characters. Like, die-hard, major Evil Dead the game characters. Like, and I'm not including... Right now, we have Evil Dead Rise dropping in a couple of weeks. That's gonna add probably add two main characters in Beth and Ellie. Ball's the last real big demon, though. As much as I love, like, Kugi, like, as much as I think Kugi should be in the game, he's not gonna be this massively requested, over-the-top, need kind of demon. Although, demons need love everywhere. And even when it comes to survivors, you got Brock dropping alongside of Bill. And he's one of the last really big characters missing. Like, you have, like, three from Ash Evil Dead. You have Chet, Brandy, and Dalton, really. Like, those are the three big, big, big characters missing from the game. Um, there's other little characters that people want, but they're more blacksmith-esque. I mean, Sheila from Army of Darkness, maybe Jake from Evil Dead 2, Linda from Evil Dead 1. Like, there's not a ton of huge characters left. And they can always just keep pulling smaller characters from the universe. And we could do that all day, every day. But sometimes it, the question is, how does that keep it in the limelight? And how does that keep it in the space that it's in? Because you got to remember, as A-Sims are getting tougher and tougher, and there's more and more of them, it keeps pulling away people from Evil Dead, the game. And right now, it has to be looking squarely at that August 18th date with the drop of Leatherface's brand new game, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And that is going to bring a lot of hype. I've seen a lot of demon mains that are already just ready to jump. It has a tech test on the 25th, so a lot of us content creators are trying to get into that, myself included. And we all are excited for the launch of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then probably a few months after that, Killer Clowns is going to drop. Dead by Daylight is always omnipresent. Yesterday, they just backpedaled all the horrible changes they were going to make in their game for 27.5 update. And the anniversary is just around the corner, which could be another big licensed kill killer and survivor or it might be another original chapter we have no idea as of yet but there's a lot of these big characters including ash who is in dead by daylight and the question now has does this game need some sort of crossover in year two to keep it relevant personally i think so i know this is a very divisive topic because i used to do a lot of crossover videos before the game dropped just for funsies and a lot of times people are like i don't want this world tainted other people are like we need to see something big to bring other people in and that's the thing about out crossovers they bring in people who otherwise wouldn't play the game let's go back to Jason Voorhees that first video I did I'll tell you one thing if Jason Voorhees came to Evil Dead the game as a brand new killer and as we can see they can just make up basic and elite units without any problem anymore we all just accept it as canon he would be a huge seller all those people who play Friday the 13th still who just love Jason would probably check out Evil Dead the game, especially with the fact that Game of the Year Edition now exists, and they can get all the previous updates in one fell swoop and play on Steam. Uh, Jason Voorhees would be huge. I think there's a couple of really big characters in this space that would make a lot of sense. I think Phantasm would be a huge update, and it makes a lot of sense. I think Bubba Hotep would make a lot of sense, even though that's like Evil Dead adjacent, and it would just be another cool Ash character, because let's be honest, why can't Bruce Campbell just keep 
endlessly voicing characters. I think Big Trouble in Little China would also make a lot of sense. I think Jack Burton would be an awesome survivor to add to the game. I think there's a lot of ways this game could really go, but we got to remember that bigger characters bring people. Bigger characters sell units. And I'm not saying we should jump over, you know, dropping a crossover character before some of these bigger characters get out, because that's what the core base wants. You don't want to be dropping, you know, Jack Burton as a survivor when people could get Brandy or Chet or Dalton. And that way they get those characters, those main staples from the series and the franchise, or even Beth from Evil Dead Rise, because I feel like this movie is going to be tremendously popular. On the other hand, like, Jason Voorhees would probably top Ellie. I I'll be honest. Like, Jason Voorhees would be the top selling killer ever in the history of this game. That DLC would sell, like, fucking hotcakes. And some people are going to be like, Old Head, don't do this. We're not dead by daylight. Yeah, we're not dead by daylight. We're a game that struggles to find cues because no one wants to play Demon. Like, that is a problem. Whenever I stream, I average about six and a half minutes per match. That is a long queue time. That is a lot of downtime for a game. And that's a lot of time you're not earning spare points because you're not playing. These are the type of things that you want to do. Big killers like Jason Voorhees, like Tall Man, even Michael Myers, who I don't really think is in play, would bring people to the game and make them want to play killer. Because, like, that's the cool part. Like, people who don't even play Demon would love to play as Jason so they can go around, get to level 10, slash people with their machete, and just ch -ch all over them. Like, I want those fights. Let's be honest, Ash has already fought Jason. Let's make it happen. Freddy Krueger would be really cool as well. I love that Robert England's willing to do the voice of Krueger and stuff. He just doesn't want to play him again because he's almost 80. I don't blame him for that. Like, there's a lot of ways this could go and make the game much, much bigger when more competition is on the way. Because that's how you have to look at it. Like, as much as I am excited about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it is competition for Evil Dead the game. As much as I am excited about Killer Clowns from Outer Space, it is definitely competition for Evil Dead the game. Because it is another 80s lore cult classic that people have very similar feelings like they do about the Evil Dead franchise. Granted. Evil Dead's probably bigger because it's, you know, spurned more than one movie, but like these are the same people. And when you're basically pilfering from the same lot, you need ways to bring people into a game they don't normally want to play. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know this one's going to be super divisive, and I can't wait to see what people have to say because I know it's going to be rah, 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 or go fuck yourself, old head. I get it. That's what these videos are for sometimes. As always, thanks for watching, and later, mates.